Okay, now before we get our hands dirty building our first bot, I just wanted to cover some more theory, just to make sure that you really understand the core concepts in Dialogflow CX. So the first things, in my opinion, that you should understand are pages and intents. So I'm going to be building on top of what I mentioned in the previous videos, but go into a bit more detail now. So pages, what are they? Again, a page reflects a state in the conversation. So if we look at the visual editor here, each, each of those boxes is one state and one state in the conversation. A page is a wrapper of an intent. Uh, so the intents are only really detecting what the user wants and they're wrapped inside a page. And then the page contains all the logic to steer the conversation. Um, additionally, also a page can have an intro conversation and an answer, which is also called a fulfillment. So, so that means everything that the chatbot will say is actually part of the page and is not part of the intent as it was in Dialogflow ES. And I'm going to give you an example in a second. Um, I thought it would be useful to uh, create this schematic overview so that you understand how pages and intents work together. We'll also see that when we build the bot, but this is, I think, a good, uh, an easy way to understand it. So a page tells us where in the conversation are we. Then there's called then there's something called a route which actually is basically routing the conversation. And inside the route, there's an intent. And the intent, um, the intent recognizes what did the user say. And then if a specific route has a specific intent that gets triggered by something that our user says, then the route will tell the page where to go next. Now, let's look at a more realistic example. So let's say that our bot says as an entry, what would you like a coffee? Now we have two simple intents that recognize a yes intention and a no intention. And each of them is nested in a route. So if the chatbot or the agent recognizes, okay, yes, the yes intent was triggered. Um, this route, is triggered and the route again can contain an answer here so that we can also give different answers depending on what the user has said. And then additionally to that, not only the answer is contained in the route, but also the instruction on what to do next. So in this case, we have another page now and the route says, if the user wants a coffee, then we go to page B. And page B has a follow-up question and it asks, uh, would you like some sugar with it? So then again, we have a yes intent and a no intent. And those again are, are nested inside a route. And those routes then um, diverge the conversation into two different branches one more time. Uh, in the case that after the first question, the user actually says no, then the route is configured in this case to end the flow because we say, okay, the user doesn't want coffee. Uh, the conversation is over in this case. So we go to the default end, um, end conversation, sorry, the end of the uh, flow. And uh, yeah, that's it. I hope that helped to understand a bit how those three elements work together. Just to point out one more thing again that I mentioned before, since uh, the conversation logic and anything the bot says is completely decoupled from the intents now, as opposed to Dialogflow ES, these uh, intents here, intent yes, intent yes, that's actually the same intent that we are using in two different routes and two different pages. And to bring the point home, I already mentioned most of the points, just uh, to cover again what intents are. So intents only contain the logic to detect what the user wants, uh, what to do next, and steering the flow of the conversation is covered in the pages. Uh, the fulfillment, which is the answer of the bot, um, is also covered in pages. And the page can also have an entry dialogue. 
And this means that the intent can be reused in multiple places of a conversation. So I, d I don't have a summary slide on the routes because we're going to cover routes in a bit more detail, the theory behind it in a later video. But now let's get started building our first bot using those concept, uh, concepts that we just learned about.